Hi there, and welcome back to the Bro Bryce Gardens channel. I am Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about my garden barrel. I'm going to do a DIY of this. Uh, I actually filmed it when I made this thing, but uh, I made some mistakes, and I might rather do a filming of the next one that I build. We'll see. But I want to show you like a quick and dirty of, uh, of the garden barrel. So this is a 35-gallon barrel that I obtained uh, from... Craigslist. Somebody wanted to give one away. Found other people that uh, sold them for 10 bucks or 15 bucks. This is a 35 gallon one, and initially these are made to be used with a 55 gallon one. I have some in the yard out here. I'll show you in a little bit, but um, I just wanted to show you real quick. And this is from uh, halfpinthomestead.com. Uh, I'll provide links down in the description down here. But this is the strawberry plants that uh, you brought you probably saw when I was sprouting these uh, back in the fall I had them in that tub over there uh, when it was full of water and these are just a few starts that survived and uh, once I shoved them in here I just let them grow and some of them uh, d did better than others others you know kinda didn't survive but the ones that have survived are going bonkers and look at the size of these strawberries this is my thumb I got big hands and uh, that is pretty cool just to see these strawberries here and up here we got some uh, organic Swiss chard we got some organic cauliflower that I just uh, I just got from the store it's probably late in the spring right now uh, it's you know April 18th I think today um, but I want to show you this this little twist that I added um, I want to put in a watering system, and I have a watering system to add to this, but in the meantime, I sort of did a quick and dirty fix on this. I took this uh, four gallon bucket here, and I drilled little tiny holes in the bottom of it. And then, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but I fastened it to the top of the sewer cap that's covering the worm composting system. So when this is empty, I can pop this off, put more compost in there, and uh, you can see it's you probably see it's screwed in to the top of the compost thing. It might be a little cloudy in there to see that. Um, and I've just been dropping rainwater in there, really. I know I've got this hose thing here, but that was because I was cleaning things off in here. But uh, I've just been putting rainwater in this in this bucket, and uh, it's been you know going gangbusters with the strawberries. They're real strong, firm plants, and. Uh, can't wait to see what the strawberries taste like when they come off of this thing. It's doing great. There's more blossoms appearing just about every day. And um, anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, inside here, I have a mixture of compost that uh, that came from organic material that I that I dumped in my thermal composter. Uh, you can check the link for the description, or you can check the link in the description, or you can click right here to see the uh, the urban composter that I used. Uh, I also been dropping some uh, worm tea in here that comes out of the bottom of my worm bin that you guys have been uh, watching about. And um, to top off all these, I put just uh, organic compost material and that coconut coir that I use for like my marigolds and everything else. Just topping it off as uh, the level's been dropping when I water it, stuff starts to settle. I've just been adding that same coconut coir. I'll show you that over here again. Uh, but it's this kind of a dry uh, powder but the thing is this stuff does not really compact you can do that it doesn't really compact and it remains very absorbent it holds moisture very well and so does this uh, compost material that I've been layering in there a little bit too so I have a mixture of that and compost that I actually got out of my bin out of my compost bin that had been in there for years anyway um, it's provided some great absorbent material you can see that this thing drains out of the bottom. I've seen some people uh, take this uh, drainage and rewater their system. And I personally haven't been doing that. I talked to a guy at one of those, uh, you know, urban gardening outfits. And, uh, and he told me that it's probably not a good idea to rewater anything that's waste off here should actually go ahead and run off. 
so uh, I'm not sure you know about that but I have noticed you know sometimes there's a little bit of algae in there and I really don't want anything you know anaerobic happening in here you can see these these plants are you know doing really well they're fresh green bright green and in here uh, we don't have full sunlight all day long even but this diffused light from this uh, greenhouse is doing a great job with this with this uh, garden barrel can't wait to see what it yields anyway thanks for watching I uh, hope that you enjoy this video. If you want to see the previous video, you can click right over there. The next video will be right over there. And if you like these videos and want to stay tuned all the time, get updates, you can even have it email you if you want. You can click that subscribe button up there. Check that out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. See you soon. Bye-bye.